If you feel tight and your flexibility is decreasing as you get older, this five minute flexibility routine can restore the freedom of movement you had as a child. And that may sound crazy and ridiculous, but it actually can happen, especially if you do it daily. Most flexibility routines focus on one or two specific muscle groups or joints, which is definitely not the best way to become more flexible. In fact, many flexibility routines are way, way too advanced and can cause serious pain and injury. To restore your body's original strength that is literally pre-programmed within you, you've got to take a different approach. You must focus on your nervous system, not your muscle groups and your joints. Right now, you're going to relearn the five movements that are literally the foundation of your strength and flexibility. Breathing, head control, rolling, rocking, and crawling. Doing these movements will make you feel younger and more youthful as you age. I've learned the following from Tim Anderson of Original Strength, so big shout out to him. Do this every day and you're going to notice an incredible change. So lie on your back in a comfortable position with your knees bent. Place your left hand on your stomach and your right hand on your chest, keeping your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Breathe in and out through your nose. And now we're going to breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five five your belly is moving first so your left hand's moving up and then your chest keep on going breathe in and now out two three four five breathe in belly moves first two three four five is a full diaphragmatic breath and then breathe out two three four five keep this going natural Tongue on the roof of, roof of your mouth. Breathe in. Perfect. Now, next up, you're going to lie on your belly, prop yourself up in your forearm, shoulders away from your ears. Without forcing it, you're going to look up as high as you can, leading with your eyes, and then low as you can, comfortably. And so each time you look up and down, you're going to look a little further behind you and then a little further underneath you. And we're going to keep this going for just a few more seconds here. Keep on going up and down. You don't need to force anything or go into pain. Now we're going to reach over each shoulder. And you're going to look over your left shoulder and then your right shoulder. Perfect. And you're going to look as far behind you as you can. And each time you look, you're going to see further and further behind you. And your shoulders are going to be opening up. Your neck is going to be opening up and you're going to have a greater field of vision. So next up, you're going to lie in your belly with your arms and legs straight and you're going to use your head, your neck and your right arm to really reach across your body and my legs are dead weight. So your legs are dead weight. The only thing that's moving are your arms and you're going to roll over using your head and your arms and your neck, your legs are completely dead weight. We're just doing this for two rounds each side. Perfect. Next up, we're gonna use your legs and your arms are dead weight. We're gonna reach over as far as you can with your leg and then it's gonna flop over your body. We're gonna reach as far behind you and keep on going. We're just using our legs here. Your arms are dead weight. Your legs are helping propel you to roll over, We're integrating your body. This is a powerful movement. Next up, you're going to start on your hands and knees, feet flat against the floor. You're going to keep your head up so that you can see the horizon. Stay proud in your chest and rock your hips back towards your feet. Rock back as far as you can comfortably while maintaining a strong chest and flat back. Again, the tongue is on your roof of your mouth, just like with all these exercises, breathing in through your nose, nasal breathing. And again, do not move into pain. Next, we're going to rock all the way back and we're going to do the same head nods again. We're going to look up and down. And this is going to be a little bit different than when you were on your forearms. So just look up and down. And now we're going to look over each shoulder. Again, we're increasing our field of vision, our upper body flexibility and mobility. And this does wonders for your shoulder flexibility and even your hips. 
Next up, we're going to be on your hands and knees with your head up. You're gonna reach your right arm forward and your left leg comes forward. So your opposite arm should move with your opposite leg like walking and we're just crawling on your knees. This is knee crawling. So keep going forward and backward, nice and smooth, head up, shoulders back. You should be feeling the contraction in your abdomen. So your core is really on fire here and your opposite shoulder and your opposite hip are really feeling that connection. We're building the X in your core. So crawling is the foundation of walking. Crawling is the movement that was designed to tie your brain together and connect your whole body together. So this is an excellent exercise to finish this short routine with. Keep it up, tongue in the roof of your mouth, nasal breathing, and that is it. In just five minutes, you've helped restore your body's original strength, defrag your nervous system, and improve your mobility in the most functional way possible. Well done, keep it up, your body and health will continue to improve.